Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is all about iOS 17. Now it's getting close to the release day, which we expect to be during Apple's WWDC on June 5th. Now we'll talk about the supported devices, the certain futures, the uncertain futures, and those futures we want. Now if there's any future you'd like to see in iOS 17, don't forget to drop that in the comment section. Let's go over it. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications if you haven't so you won't miss out on more updates just like this one. So first, with the supported devices, Apple is probably expected to drop three devices this year for the iPhones. That's the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and iPhone X. Basically, the A11 devices might probably be kicked out this year. So if you have any of these devices, you might want to take a step forward. Yeah, probably not to an XS or XR because those might be kicked along with the 11s the following year. Now, as for iPad OS 17, we expect the iPad 5th generation, the 9.7 inch iPad Pro, that's the first gen, and the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, also the first gen, to be kicked out for iOS 17. So you might also want to take a step forward if you have any of these iPads I just mentioned. When it comes to the futures, the first thing I want to talk about is the control center. Now we had rumors that Apple might probably change it here in iOS 17. You know since iOS 11, we have had this same control center, which actually, it doesn't look bad, although it could use some remake and, you know, probably they take one or two ideas from the concepts and the um, jailbroken iPhones here. So we would like to see something new for control center that's gonna be cool actually because this is like a part of the phone every single apple user touches yeah both for ios and ipad os over here which looks like this yeah so yeah also as far as what we are sure of goes we had a recent rumor because apple never really mentioned anything special about ios 17 but then it suddenly came to light that several most requested features are going to be coming out in iOS 17 and that makes me more excited. Does it make you more excited? Tell me in the comment section. Now, as far as the features we actually expect but aren't 100% sure of sideloading due to Apple's battle with the EU and their policies, yeah, along with Type-C. You see, sideloading is what allows you to install packages on your phone without having to go through the App Store and that's going to allow third-party app stores and you know the rest of them come into the iOS ecosystem. Honestly, I don't really know what, how that's going to look but it seems like at some point Apple is going to have to give in to the EU because no one gets past the EU, not even Apple. Now the next thing here is we expect split screen. Yeah, because that's like a concept actually which you can see on the screen right now but that's something that would be nice to have, although people that use the minis and the SEs might not really enjoy it that much. But people that use the Pro Maxes will get it and enjoy it the most. Yeah. So we expect split screen, probably. Not really sure, but there is some certainty in chance of that. Yeah, so. Now, although some of the iPhones are going to get kicked out, like iPhone X and iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, Definitely does still get security updates for iOS 16 because you know Apple they always keep their older devices in the loop when it comes to security fixes, which is a very good thing actually, yeah. So I guess that's the only bright thing about a phone being kicked out, or that won't really call it bright. Why would your phone be kicked out in the first place? But it's what it is. Okay, so I think this wraps it up for iOS 17 and probable futures, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates because trust me, as time goes on, any confirmed leak or rumor or whatever comes out, you'll be the first to know. Yeah. So subscribe to the channel, like this video, tell me what you think, tell me what you want to see in EIO 17. Who knows, I might tell a word or two to Tim Cook himself. Yeah, so yeah. See you in the next video.